It's Jeremy Williams with the Bannock Real Estate Group. And I just want to let you know, we put together these videos because it's really important to us that we get relevant, accurate information into the marketplace as the market changes so you can make the best decisions. If you like the information we're providing, please subscribe. It makes a big difference for us. And then also, if you'd like to see a certain uh, video about you know, a certain topic, make a comment. We'd love to hear from you. With that, let's get into it. It's Jeremy Williams, broker owner of the Bannock Real Estate Group, and today we're talking about something that's one of my favorite subjects, which is investment real estate. In particular, some of the tools that we use to analyze properties to know if they're a good investment or not. So one of the tools we're talking about today is what we call capitalization rate or cap rate. It's most commonly uh, known as, it's calculated by taking the net income of a property divided by the price, and then it gives you a percentage. And that percentage is a rate of return based on the value or the sales price of the property. And so that percentage indicates um, whether, you know, at least it gives you a little bit of a starting point of what it might be a good investment or not. The higher the cap rate, the higher the return on the property. The lower the cap rate, the lower return. But something to keep in mind, the higher the cap rate usually indicates higher risk. Maybe it's more deferred maintenance, maybe it's an uh, inferior location. There's a lot of things that might affect that, whereas a lower cap rate tends to be less risk on our property. Another thing that we think about is um, when it comes to interest rate, a lot of times the cap rates will follow the interest rate in some markets. So if you have a six cap and your interest rate is 6%, it tends to be a neutral investment. Or if you have a six cap and you have a 3% interest rate, it tends to be a performing asset. And the opposite is true, where if your rate's 7% on a six cap, you may be uh, losing money or you might be counting on an appreciation to make up the difference. So there's a lot of ways that we use cap rates, um, whether it's either analyzing an investment property or sometimes we use it to quickly analyze one investment versus another. It's important to know that this is just one way to look at a property. A lot of people use it as the first line of defense of, hey, are we going in the right direction or not? It really shouldn't be used as the decision maker, but it certainly points us in the right way. So if you're looking at investment property, you have any questions about how we analyze properties, how we determine if they're good investments, please reach out to us. You can reach us at 406-926-6767, and we look forward to talking to you soon.